How's it going guys? Nick here from the Techno Jedi's. Today we're going to be checking out the Zest T1 Proudly African Phone. It's a super cool phone. You, I'll show you some things about the phone just now, but something just so you can know about Zest is that they want to bring Africans the best products at the best price possible. Generally technology is quite expensive here and they try to give us the best products. We are in South Africa and they want to give us give them to us at the best price possible. So let's see what this device is like. I'll let you, I'll tell you a little bit about it to let you know what I think it ranks according to other phones. And I'll let you know what's in the box as well. So you get a screen protector, very nice test, super cool, really nice. We don't need to go and buy one of those, a screen protector right over there. And let's show you the rest of the stuff that's in the box. As you guys all know, I'm quite a, quite finicky when it comes to things that are in the box and things that they supply. This is the Zest Charger Focus and um, normal micro USB usual kind of um, charging mechanisms and then come on Zest. I'm really impressed with everything else but these earphones are really cheap. Really. Come on. We want really cool headphones. Everyone, all you cell phone suppliers who are watching my stuff. Please supply us with great headphones, not really cheap headphones. We won't use them if you supply cheap ones. Um, so onto the phone itself. I was really impressed. I initially had this phone for about a week and I left it for a few days just to charge. I charged it once and then wanted to see what how long it would last for. And it lasted for about four days and then the last three days I've been testing it. Um, what you'll see is that I, I reset this phone. The only thing that I've installed is Candy Crush over here and everything else comes preloaded. So you'll see that there's speed test over here. There's an FM radio over there. There's a really nice flashlight app as well that you can switch on. I'll show you the lights over here. So, so you can put on an SOS thing. Hopefully it's not just because we're in South Africa that we need this SOS thing, but you can switch it on, you can switch it off. It's really nice to have, so you don't need to re-download the app for that. Um, the, what I also thought was quite nice about it was that the haptic feedback, so when you press these buttons, um, it, it feels really nice. I'm not sure if that will use the battery more, but it's, it's really cool. The phone, as you will see, is running Android 4.2, so that's KitKat at the moment. It's also interestingly got its own little taste. So this is um, a widget, a full widget. I'm sure these widgets do use RAM, so I wouldn't use them. I'd end up deleting them. But you can see it is nice and kind of unique. And that's the one thing about the cell phone. Even that, I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. Like, who creates stuff like that? So it just shows that there's been a lot of effort that has been put into the cell phone. That's what I want at the end of the day. Is I want to know that people who are creating the cell phone have put my needs into kind of thought before they sell it and just hope that I buy it. One of the things that you'll see here is that they've given you documents to go. Um, they've given you the Amazon Kindle app, Facebook, all these kind of things. Remember when I mentioned the things that I liked about the Alcatel touch phone, one touch pop C7 was that it also came preloaded with a lot of apps that you'd need. So Looking through these apps over here, there's a movie thing, there's News24, South African made phone, News24, fantastic connect to the weather there. And there's a speed test, which I don't think all of you guys will be using, Uber, Viber, Twitter, there's also Snapchat, Waze, or Waz, really cool um, GPS road driving thing. You definitely want to check that out. And there's also some wireless updates, which means that they are going to be supplying their own updates to this device, which is great. And let me see if there's anything else that I've forgotten. Doesn't look like it. Looks like everything's kind of mentioned all of this stuff. Let's go into the reason why you buy the phone is to play games. So this is Candy Crush. I have stayed the heck away from this game. I actually got my guys at work to start playing it and it ruined their lives. So I've stayed away from it. But the, as you'll see, um, it does run pretty quickly and you see how much I, oh my gosh, how much I suck at Candy Crush. Um, I promise you I'm good at other stuff, but Candy Crush is just not one of my fortes. But I'm gonna get this little bit. I'm gonna redeem myself over here. 
So you'll see the, the um, phone is pretty quick when it comes to responsiveness. It's it just it is extremely quick. I was expecting it because it's soft because it's an African made phone not to be as amazing as it actually was. So the specs for it regarding speed are it's a quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor. It's running with one gigabyte of RAM. In my mind, this phone should be a lot slower with that processor, but for some reason, this thing is extremely quick. There are some areas where you'll see there's a little bit of lag, like when I'm taking photos, I find there's been a little bit of lag. It, also, the camera itself, the camera's cool, it's an 8 megapixel camera. So let me get into the, not the video, come on Nick. Um, I found this wasn't as, as easy to kind of work as I was hoping it would. Um, but the camera itself, it is an 8 megapixel camera. It's, it is pretty clear. It doesn't give you the, the most amazingly crisp shots ever, but it's definitely good for an 8 megapixel camera. It's got um, a VGA front facing camera. I don't know how great that's going to be, to be completely honest. Um, it's got, obviously, you can see it's got all of the effects that you need that have been running with um, with Android KitKat, so it's, it is quite cool. The battery is extremely impressive, so it's uh, six, one, 1,600 milliamp battery, and they say that you'll get about 200 hours of standby and 7 hours of talk time. I found that this thing is probably pretty true. It's It's... It was obviously it's obviously a new phone and the battery is still pristine, but this thing has lasted longer than pretty much any other phone that I've I've used. It wasn't just running in flight mode; it was running with 3G on, and it literally lasted four days. and 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 I'm sure would have kept going for a little bit longer. It's got a dual SIM. That's one of the things that's pretty cool about the phone, is that you can organize for data and you can organize which ones you want where. Um, to which which um, SIM cards you want to use for what, which is really cool because in South Africa a lot of us are using data SIMs for stuff, and that's that's really cool. There were some other things that I really liked about um, about the phone that were really interesting. There was one at the back. Obviously, there's the normal the normal for Android 4.2 stuff that you can do. It gives you a flash alert here, which you can do. It's just straight up. You don't need to dig through settings like you normally would in an Android phone. The thing that I liked, I'll show you over here, is that there's a scheduled power on and off thing, which I thought is quite cool. So you can switch it on and make your cell phone power on is set for that time and power off is set for that time. And so you can actually have your cell phone off when you are um, sleeping or whatever you want. So I, I thought that was cool. I would probably use that more than than most people. I've just been a little bit irritated with phones and constant ringing all the time lately. But um, I guess that's not all of you. It's running its own... Let me show you. So this is the, the Android KitKat. That's what it's busy running. Its baseband version is, is all of that stuff over there. And it's definitely their own build because you can see this isn't just normal Android 4.2. They've got their own little twinge on it. And I'll show you some of the things that I liked as well about this. So you, they've customized this really to crazy lengths. They've gone even, there's the normal stuff you'll get in Android 4.2. But then there's also their own ones that they've created over here. So they've got their own nine little kind of South African-ish um, wallpapers, which were pretty cool. Nice zest one over there. I just think it's cool when, when smartphone developers create a phone that is based upon the needs of their users. And this is unbelievably clear with zest over here. So it isn't the, it isn't a crazy different variation on Android 4.2, but there are some smaller things that they've just kind of created, which have been really cool. Um, my overall impression of the phone is that it's it's a really great um, investment if you're looking to get into the smartphone market in South Africa. The phone itself is extremely cheap. I think these this one at the moment is going for about it's just under two thousand rand, which is a really good really good deal. Um, it's just really quick. You can check it out. There's there's lots of customizations. You can add lots of widgets. It's got everything that you'd need for an Android phone. And the quad core 1.3 is definitely you can feel it. There's 
I haven't found really any lag besides playing around with the camera and some of the things within the camera. Other than that, this thing has cranked out some serious pace. Uh, I've really enjoyed using it. I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. You can find all of their products online, just, just Google Zest. And I think you can buy them through certain stores. Cool. Well, that's been re it's been real, guys. I will definitely um, be looking out for what these guys have in future. I would love to review it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, what you have thought about this phone, if you've got any questions about it as well. And until the next video we do, remember to like and subscribe to our video um, so you can see what we're bringing out in future. Cool. It's been real, guys. Cheers.